Hey guys, what's going on? It's your girl Anita of Classic Royalty Designs and from the title as you guys can see I'm gonna show you guys all about layouts. Now a lot of you guys may not know what a layout is But a layout is something very simple that I just sent out to all my clients It's a copy and a paste a lot of clients contact me via DM Facebook inbox or they send me an email just saying how much does this cost or hey Anita I'm located in Ohio and I want you to create my prom gown how much would this be and uh, instead of saying instead of typing something out or answering her question without knowing anything about me I have a layout and the layout consists of my name my flyer how much my prom gowns cost how much um, my consultation fee is my hours of business my Instagram my Facebook my snapchat just uh, just everything so a layout is everything your client needs to know about you and within this video i'm going to show you guys what should be in your layout and again if you guys have anything you think i need to add to my layout leave it below in the comments but right now i'm going to show you guys where i keep my layout and again i keep my layout right here in my handy dandy cell phone because unfortunately i always have my cell phone in my hand i'm always on instagram and snapchat and facebook and you know everything is so instant now so i keep everything in my notes in my phone i have it on my phone and i also have it on my ipad so i'm going to go ahead i'm going to scroll through and i'm going to go over every little thing that is in my layout so before we get started make sure you guys have a pen and a paper and make sure you guys write down everything i'm telling you and later on you can always go back make changes take away some things and add some things and make it your own but today I'm going to show you guys what my classic royalty layout is about. So once again, I have everything on my phone. I'm going to go ahead and type in my password if I can. And once again, like I said before, I go to my notes and everything is here that I need to do. And this is what my layout looks like. So I'm going to go step by step to what my layout has. It's not that long, I don't think, but it's just full of information. So first, as you guys can see, it says, hello, hope all is well. Below you will find my prom layout. Please read entire layout followed by us moving forward. Thank you. A very simple introduction. And again, this is my Classic Royalty 2018 prom flyer. A lot of you guys should have this. Um... A lot of you guys should have this flyer um, within your layout, maybe also on your contract, posted on Facebook, Instagram, and this alone will help you gain clients for any season, any special occasion, or just all occasions. And again, on my layout, it just says, you know, my Snapchat, my Instagram, and you know, everything else that's needed. And as I scroll up, it definitely says New York City Bronx Fashion Designer. Please read entire layout because a lot of people just skim through it just like this and go to the bottom and that's it. But my layout is very detailed and I will not answer anybody's email until they copy and paste the entire layout and answer all of the questions. So my layout consists of prom gowns start at 850 which includes the following. Production of garment start and finish. All fabric, all trims or ends or appliques, two appointments and or fittings, no exchange, no refunds. So just by reading this alone, they know how much my prom gowns start at, they know what's included, and they know there will be no exchanges and no refunds, and they will need to make an appointment, two or more or less. So all of this alone means business. We're going to go ahead and keep scrolling. It says clients can hold their consultation appointment date and time by sending a non-inclusive $50 non-refundable fee via PayPal and or Cash App. So for a lot of designers who don't have PayPal or Cash App, please go ahead and download those because clients can definitely send you um, a remaining balance. They can send you the consultation fee to your PayPal or to your Cash App. Or sometimes it's good just to have both because I have both. And it's just smart to have. Price range depends on date of prom, uh, dress size, fabrics, prints, colors, and hand-sewn applications and details. 
And designers, remember, yes, you can charge more based off size, based off color, based off details and how close or far away her prom date is. So you can charge anything you like based on this here alone. And we're going to keep going down. And once again, it says copy and paste layout because a lot of people still skim through everything and answer what they want to answer. I need all of this information past this point unless I cannot help you. Copy and paste layout. Answer all questions. <laughs> and I made sure I have it like this so that they can read it, they can see it, and they know below this point they have questions that need to be answered. So what I will need from my client is I will need full name, first and last name. Full address, city, state, and zip code. I need to know where you're from. I need your phone number and your parents' phone number because sometimes I need to call you and you don't answer, I'm going to call your parents. Theme of prom. It could be Great Gatsby. It could be 90s theme, 1920s. I just need to know what the theme of your prom is so that when you send me a picture, I already have an idea in my head of what I want to create for you. I also ask my clients to send a photo of yourself, clear full length, because they may want to send me a strapless dress and my client may have a 38 triple F and that's not going to work. And I'm going to tell my client that. So I need to see my client and a picture of my client and I want to know what the theme of the prom is and this two, these two alone, whoops. And these two alone will help me uh, decide on what I want to create for my client. If we scroll down, it says, if you're not located in New York City area, are you willing to travel for one appointment? Question mark. And then it also says, if you're unable to travel for one appointment and still willing to send professional measurements in full payment, yes, we can work together. Payments can be made by PayPal if you're unable to do both. Then I'm unable to design and create your garment. So this means if you can't travel, that's fine. As long as you're willing to send me professional measurements and full payment, yes, we can still work together. This also states that if you're unable to send me professional measurements, if you're still unable to send me the full amount and if you're unable to travel how am I gonna help you that means I'm unable to work with you so this along answers about three different questions right here again what is your number size I don't need small medium and large I don't know what these are when you're dealing with custom-made garments we don't deal with small medium and large we need numbers are you a two four six eight or 10 20 whatever it is and when you answer this i know exactly how much i'm going to charge you based on what you send me based on where you live and some more questions below garment details what color and you must answer what color do you want do you want white do you want blue do you want green do you want purple i need to know what color you want what fabric do you want do you want something do you want sequins do you want silk charmeuse do you want organza do you want tulle i need to know what fabric you want a lot of high school students don't know what fabrics to choose from they don't know nothing about fabrics but as long as they send you a picture right here you the designer are supposed to know what fabric it is based off of the photo and what style do you want mermaid do you want ball gown do you want v-neck do you want open back do you want long sleeve this alone, by answering these three questions, will also give you an idea in your head of what kind of style you're going to do. Because you already know what she looked like, you already know her size, and now you have this in your head. And you can automatically come up with a design in your head. Number four, send a photo. One photo only. A lot of high school students send you four different photos and one a price. I don't need four photos. I only want one photo of what you like the most. I need a clear photo of front and or back. I know sometimes there's no back, but that's fine. As long as I see a full photo, we can move forward. When is prom? 
I need a day, a month, a year, a time, and a location. Is it June 28th? Is it the 28th of June 2018, 2019 at 6 p.m. in New Jersey? I need something. I need an idea. If it's in the Bronx, I might send you off and come, you know, fix you up a bit. If it's in Ohio, good luck. But I need to know. Again, it says set your appointment date available on Sundays only. Time 7 a.m. Last appointment 12 p.m. They know they need a booking appointment between this time and this time only on Sundays. And again, some people still don't read this because they may not just read it. Again, order of appointment. My appointments are 45 minutes, 45 minutes to an hour appointment. Sketch, color, style, shape, and trims. Measurements are taken. Fabrics are chosen. Contract will definitely be signed by you and your parent. And by both client and our parents, again. Payment of full amount is given this is optional i know some of you guys take half payments some of you guys take more than half i take full payments and they see this here and it, more details is below into why i take full payments again your garment will be completed based on how many other garments i have to complete ahead of yours two to three months max now this just lets the client know don't bother me, don't call me, don't ask to see your garment. You have two to three months max until your dress is finished. And again, garments are based on how many of the garments you have to complete ahead of yours. So in the layout, it tells you if you come to me late and I have garments to, to complete ahead of yours, I'm going to do theirs first and then do yours. Two to three months max, depending on the dress. Even though it does not take me this long to create a dress, this just lets them know the window of when their garment is going to be finished. And it keeps scrolling down. Please read below carefully. Okay? Client info. Day of appointment. Please be on time. Five minute early. Ten minute early. Whatever it is. Please wear form fitted clothes or you can tell your clients to wear all black. Comfortable clothes, jeggings, tights, wife beater, whatever it is. Please wear proper undergarments. Please wear clean underwear, a thong, boy shorts, whatever it is. But please wear proper girdles, proper bra, whatever you may need for your dress. Please wear it the day of the consultation. Please bring high heels, three to four inches, because a lot of people want these dramatic gowns and can't walk in them. So when you bring your heels for a consultation, I can see how you walk and I can see how long I want the dress to be with your heels on. Guess two max. Whoops. Sorry, people. Guess two max. Space is limited. I told you guys that. I told you guys before in my in my consultation video. Space is limited. Please be professional. Nothing ratchet, nothing ghetto. Don't come in here eating. Don't come in here with babies crying. Don't come to ask to change your baby in the middle of my on my sewing table. Be professional. Clients that are more than 25 minutes late will be charged an additional $25 fee. This is my this is my layout. This is my opinion. I mean, this is my choice. You guys can charge 20, 25, 30, 40, 50, whatever you guys want. But this is optional. If you guys don't want this a part of your layout, then go ahead and take that out. But, you know, life happens and you don't want to be sitting there for an hour and she doesn't show up. Or if she does show up, it's past 30 minutes and you can be getting money for your time being wasted. Next is payment questions. So during the consultation, the full amount is due. No exceptions. And again, this is optional based on what designer. I take full payments at the consultation. Um, full amount covers the production of your garment start and finish. Fabrics, trims, and all other applications needed for your prom gown. So it explains why I need the full amount at the consultation because it covers my time, it covers the fabrics, start and finish, and everything else that's here. Scroll up again. 
Payments. Payments are no PayPal, no cash app, no deposits, no money order, no checks, and no credit cards. And there's a reason for this. And if you want me to go into detail, I'm not because again, this is just something that I do. It's just like makeup artists. Makeup artists take cash. When you go to a store, certain stores don't take debit or credit card and they don't take check. They only take cash. It's very similar to that. This is what I do and we all are different. So if you do choose to take PayPal, cash app, money orders, that's great. But make sure you guys put that in your layout. And again, if you or your parents have any other questions, please feel free to call, text, or email. Thank you. Hope to hear from you soon. And let's make your prom 2018 experience a great one with Classic Royalty. And I have all my information below with my um, with my picture, my lovely picture, of course, so they can know more about the business. And here I have, you know, call me between 12 p.m. and 9 p.m. and text me love names at 9 p.m. Because some of these girls be texting me at 1, sending me emails at 1, and I don't need that. But this is my layout, guys, and this is exactly what I send to my clients. And again, this is not my only layout. I have my layout for prom 2018. Again, I have my wedding reception uh, layout. It's basically the same thing, the same layout. Instead of prom, it is wedding and reception. And here I have wedding gown start at, reception design start at, and bridesmaid start at. And it's typically the same thing, the same exact thing. And again, I have the same thing for classic royalty sewing classes. And I also have the same thing for classic royalty custom garments. So custom, again, is birthdays, um, sweet 16s, and stuff like that. So you guys should definitely have more than one layout. And that's basically it. And I keep it in my phone. It never changes. The only thing that changes is my flyer. I get a new flyer every year with new designs on it. And, of course, the year changes. And this stays the same as well. Everything stays the same except for my flyer. And if your prices go up every year, you may want to change this. Or if you may want to add something or change something within your client info or payment questions, you may, you guys will change that later on. But again, this is my layout and you guys should definitely take this, use it um, because you guys will definitely need it. And I promise you guys, once you have this, all of those, uh, you know, unprofessional emails by your guys' clients, Instagram, Facebook will stop. This is professional. This means business. And it goes into detail on, hello, my name is, this is what you need to do, this is what I charge, this is where I am, and this is what it will cost. And it's very professional and clean. And that is it, guys. So thank you guys for watching this tutorial on a layout. And yes, that's me. I'm super cute. Or nah. And again, if you guys have no clue on what Cash App is, this is the app for Cash App, you guys. Can have your clients send you money there. Um, there's also Vimo right here. Your clients can send you money there. And again, there's also PayPal. And your clients can send you money there. And remember to always check your email. Always check your Instagram. And always check your email and your spam or your junk. Because clients do end up sending stuff to your junk and, and stuff like that. And again, make sure you guys... Um, Look at this, my phone's going off. But um, once again, thank you guys for watching this tutorial on how to um, make a layout. And that is it. Thank you guys for watching my video. And I highly appreciate it. Once again, it's your girl Anita Rivers of Classic Royalty. Bye, guys.